I'd like to start this video by apologising for my hair. Sometimes a strategically placed bobby pin just won't do the trick. It, it just. But on a more serious note, this is a, a very serious video. So there's been a lot of earthquakes in Wellington recently, and uh, I've been quite terrified. So we had what a couple on Friday and a few little ones over the weekend, and then last night Sunday was the big one. And I like to say I dealt with it like a pro, like a local. I was just leaving the cinema. Well, that was just got up, like the credits were rolling, and uh, it started. And the person I was with very kindly turned to me and said, "This is an earthquake," which was good, uh, just in case I thought it was anything else. Um, and I just kind of froze and grabbed her arm very tightly, you know, increasing the tightness as the earthquake went on, uh, stopped breathing, closed my eyes and just stood still until it stopped. Those government campaigns about the stop, drop and hold, I was going to say stop, drop and roll, that's fire isn't it, yeah. Um, they're clearly going in, I just panicked. I thought, you know, get your shit together Sarah, get a survival pack. So um, I'm going to show you what I've been putting in my survival pack. So you've got your standard things that obviously you're going to put in a survival pack, water and food and whatnot, but you've got to think about other stuff, you know. Um, power could be out. You live in Karori, so you're on top of a big hill and it's probably all crumbling at the sides. So you're pretty much just stuck here. It's probably surrounded by the noise of thousands of screaming children that live in Karori. Oh, yeah. I need to move. Okay, so first things first. Okay. Um. Thanks. Um. A cat, in case you get hungry. Backup cell phone. Um, smartphones all well and good, but let's be honest, they don't have snake on them. You're going to be without power and entertainment and human contact and safety, food, then. <clears throat> Snake would be good. Candles. I lost power yesterday during the earthquake, so I came home, no lights, nothing. So candles, very important. Um, you know, if you're with that special someone, or someone you'd like to be that special someone, <coughs> then mood lighting is, is important, you know, even in times of apocalypse or things. So, got to have your candles. Strategically placed. Maybe a few gels, you know, just to, to get the mood going. Radio. Um, this doesn't have a radio on it. This is just a tape player. So, uh, alcohol. Twofold, I think, reason. Obviously to, um, to sterilise wounds that you might have. Um, not sure if you can do that with wine, actually. That might just be spirits. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an emergency situation. You, you take what you can get, and usually I can get my hands on wine. Here. so um so wine and also just for morale you know um well i think about it if i was kind of stuck here by myself and i drank two bottles of red wine and an earthquake i'm not sure how happy i'd be um but you know it could help you sleep that could be handy sleep through the aftershocks clothing i'm um, got to keep warm got to have your woolly vest to hand and um, it's one of my favorites just Again, good for morale, got little nipple tassel cat whiskers, which I'm going to stop tweaking. Motivational posters, weaponry, just reckon that. Betty! Once the looting starts, you'll need a knife or a gun or something. Um, don't have really that, but I do have a nice um, array of decorative butter knife. 3D glasses, because it's Wellington and there's bound to be a 3D showing of The Hobbit on somewhere. Interdental toothbrushes. I don't know why, but my mum keeps reiterating the importance of these, so I figure that they must have some other use other than just cleaning in between your teeth. So, you know. Garlic, keep away the vampires. Hairnet, keep the curls dry in extreme weather. Uh, first aid kit, so you've got, um, you know, painkillers and things. Also, probably some recreational drugs, because I think during times of an earthquake, it could be a really good time uh, to just experiment with the uh, acid expand the mind plasters you know c cuts and things that could occur also if you want to support that friend that's in prison um was that even what the plaster was for i hope that was what it was for it's gonna not make a great deal of sense but 
Uh, refer Nelly, circa 2002. So that's it, kids. Um, stay earthquake safe. I'm just kidding, and I've got a feeling that looked really bad. And it's just. Gonna hurt. Oh, motherfucker. <clears throat>